Well, uh, just try to imagine your child's new best friend is a talking teddy that knows nearly anything. Adorable or a little unnerving? Well, get ready because AI-powered stuffed animals are no longer science fiction. They are pretty much real and they're about to enter bedrooms near you. The thing is that pretty much for decades stuffed animals have been all about comfort, imagination and nostalgia. Their squeaks or said present lines like I love you, period. Now, companies like Curio are creating plushies such as Grem, Grok and Gambu that are fitted with Wi-Fi voice boxes. These toys tap into AI models to actually converse with your child. It's like ChatGPT, but in a teddy form. They are marketed as a playful, screen-free alternative to tablets, promising engaged, imaginative children without a family TV battle. But is giving kids conversational AI in toy form clever innovation or something more complicated? Basically, each plush includes a Wi-Fi enabled device powered by a rechargeable lithium ion battery equipped with a microphone and a speaker that connects to cloud-based AI for real-time chatter. Pricing-wise, it's actually pretty nice. It goes $99 each. The plushies arrive with an adapter, collectible stickers and team characters, a space-obsessed rocket named Grok, voiced by Grimes, a curious creature called Grem, and a tech-friendly Gaboo. Funny enough, the Courier promotes these toys as sidekicks, designed to spark curiosity and learning narrate new stories and make playtime more interactive. These toys record every interaction and often sync transcripts to the parents' phones. Curia claims that data isn't retained, but privacy policies show that conversations may go to third-party AI providers like OpenAI or Perplexity. This raises red flags about transparency. Critics, including Amanda Hess of the New York Times, argue that these AI plushies may replace, not supplement, the emotional role of parents or caregivers. One toy even suggested playing I Spy despite obviously not seeing highlighting AI quirks. And a fun fact is that, uh, well, nearly 46% of parents reportedly hesitate to buy such toys due to data collection fears, which kind of makes sense, right? Unclear value and high price points. And the toy history, well, it's not new to these risks. Battles, Hello Barbie, and early AI doll was discontinued after hackers exploited security flaws. Countries like Germany even banned similar toys recognizing surveillance risks. The story sits at the intersections of innovating and caution. One, on the one side, there's AI plushies could shine as learning aids or emotional support, especially for kids with special needs or limited social exposure. But the main question remains, should toddlers actually learn empathy and emotional skills from algorithms? These AI toys are receiving a voice, personality, even a gender. Psychology tells us kids naturally anthropomorphize toys, but when that toy can be respond, we move from imaginary friend to programmed companion. Anthropic co-founder has noted these AI companions could help busy parents as long as they're clearly recognized as technology, not a human replacement. And a big player like Mattel plus OpenAI are entering this arena signaling AI skins for classic brands, but their toys must be cautiously designed to avoid unintended chaos. And meanwhile, the toys that do promote imagination, even without batteries like Toonie Box, Yodo Player, or Next Playground, offer engaging, safe alternatives without the surveillance risk. So where do we draw the line between comforting innovations and digital dependency? Tell me. Would you actually buy your kid an AI plushie or is it that line you don't cross? Tell me in the comments below. I want just to know whether you see these toys as helpful tools or red flags dressed in a fur. If you like this episode, smash that like button, subscribe and don't miss the future tech stories that aren't just smart. They challenge how we think about a future. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos.